So since the introduction of additional levels allowing our build to travel up to A57 and the inclusion of new items in terms of DLC to legendaries, I have had countless comments, messages and DMs on my Winter Soldier build and where I have taken it and where I have added these additional points. Today people I guide you on the exact changes I have made to my Winter Soldier build and today I bring you the Winter Soldier 57 build. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So my Winter Soldier build I've been experimenting with for absolutely ages now since a level 50 and it has changed quite often here and there. But the level 57 version is the evolved version of the level 53 version I actually don't believe I posted here on YouTube. Not the setup I went on to use anyway. And with the guns, love and tentacles DLC we have seen quite a couple of great additions which have allowed me to make this build even stronger. So let's get into it and whereas in every other previous build video I have given you guys options with different weapons, artifacts and shields and so forth that you can use, today will be different and I will show you exactly what I am using for 95% of my game time besides obviously the times I do have to dedicate my build for certain weapon reviews and so forth. So the build, let's go and start with the sentinel hitman tree. 5 points into the violent speed kill skill and 5 points into violent momentum. Speed equals power people and with violent momentum active with 5 points included all speed no matter where it comes from stacks this and speed is our best friend especially with this build. We then put 3 points into the salvation kill skill, one of our defensive skills here which is a must. Drone delivery selected as our specific grenade in usage here adds a great deal of damage to this build and drone delivery when it comes active does trigger the anointment on grenades. Then death follows close selected obviously. This is one of Zane's best skills and it pairs with our class mod like bread and butter. We then put 5 points into the violent violence kill skill. This increases our fire rate by 25% and lasts 15 seconds plus any additional bonuses. We then put 4 points into plain dirty, this is another kill skill. What this does is after a kill it gives us a 60% of a chance to fire an extra projectile within the first 5 shots. This obviously works wonders on some weapons but not so much on others, but weapons with small mag sizes but offering great higher damage like shotguns, snipers, pistols and so forth, this is amazing on. We then put 3 points into good misfortune, this is another kill skill. And after killing an enemy this grants increased action skill cooldown up to 80% which is quite a lot. We then have the scene red selected. This upon activating any of your action skills automatically activates all of your kill skills. So all of the kill skills I just mentioned are activated upon you activating any of your action skills. And because we are using two action skills with this build people most of them double up and stack. Sentinel we use as our first action skill with the augments of Bad Dose which adds quite a lot of helpful buffs to Zane via the Sentinel damaging enemies. Per enemy damaged we get a plus 2% fire rate, plus 6% movement speed, a damage of 476 per second and it lasts 12 seconds from that enemy being damaged and its cooldown is 8 seconds. The second augment we use is Static Field which drains enemy shields and replens ours. Shields and having full shield does help and I'll explain that in a second when we get to our third skill tree. So we're going to move on to the second skills tree and that is the double agent digiclone. 5 points into synchronicity here people which gives us 20% extra damage per action skill we have active. For the most part both will be active so that's 40% extra damage from this alone. We then put 3 points into prey which gives us a 25% increase over standard magazine size which is definitely beneficial. We then have 5 points into the Donnybrook kill skill. This after a kill gives us 19% extra gun damage as well as 3.1% of our health back per second. So with Synchronicity and Donnybrook selected we get close to 75% extra damage from these alone which is just crazy. And we then finally on this tree we put 3 into duct tape mod which gives us a 12% chance to fire a grenade upon our first shot. This grenade we shoot also triggers the anointment on our selected grenade which we will get to in a second. So moving on to the undercover barrier tree. 5 points into adrenaline. This gives us up to a 35% cooldown rate on our action skills depending on our shield status. This is where that augment on the sentinel comes in very helpful indeed. 2 points into brain freeze which gives us a chance to freeze those enemies upon us hitting a crit shot. 
3 points seem to rise to the occasion, which regenerates 3% of our overall health per second. The lower our shield, the better bonus. We then have Confident Competence selected, which gives us up to 35% extra weapon damage and accuracy depending on how full our shields are, which I've built around this fact and keeping them full most of the time is how this works. Again, this is another place where that Sentinel Augment works. Barrier is the second action skill we use, with Charge Relay selected, which gives us uh, Reload Speed and Movement Speed upon deploying our barrier and moving away from it. We also have All Rounder selected, which means we are covered from all sides, protected from all sides. So that, guys, is our skill tree build. So on to the weapons. And these, like I said at the start of the video, are my goal to weapons for the most part of this game. Yeah, for sure I do switch mobs sometimes, but in reality, these are all I need. So firstly, we have the Redistributor. This SMG is exclusive to the Valkyrie squad and Walton within the Maliwan raid. Now, for the most part, I use the Corrosive version, but I do have all versions as backups. Anointment though on all my weapons within this build is always going to be this, and this is what you want to look out for. While Sentinel is active, gain 100% of bonus cryo damage. This basically doubles up our damage as standard without any other effects coming into play. When those effects do come into play, it gets even crazier. Now this SMG is just a mobbing machine. It destroys all, especially when enemies are grouped up. And to be honest, it's a part of most builds I do see nowadays. Next up, we have the sequel. This again, I have all variants too, and I do sometimes switch between them. The sequel is a weapon you obtain from the Warden located upon the Anvil within Eden 6. Now this assault rifle is basically one of the best shotguns in the game and yes you heard that right, as crazy as it sounds, that's what it is. This assault rifle is one of the best shotguns in this game, it is an utter monster. We then have the lob shotgun, now this is a weapon again, I have all variants too and do switch up between. This weapon though is obtained via Grave Ward and as you should know it's up there one of the best weapons in the game and as you know it's capable of crazy things. Now I will state this is traded out a lot of the time for the Anarchy which is another shotgun capable of absolutely crazy things and in my opinion probably the most powerful weapon in the game if used correctly. Now the Anarchy is a world drop exclusive to Xylargus so if you want it you know where to get it. And lastly guys we have the Maggie. This Jacob's pistol you get from the Tremendous Rex within the system of Slaughter. And well I feel I don't even have to explain how good this weapon is. It's one of the best pistols in the game without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, so on to the shield I use, and here we use the Old God, which again is an exclusive item and will drop upon Xylargos. Now you need the guns, love and tentacles to get this item. If you don't have that, you can't get it. The version you need is the version I have here, which gives us plus 20% extra cryo damage, which works in turn with all the anointments and all my weapons. And besides all the other benefits it offers, it is an amazing shield, but you want this anointment of, while Sentinel is active, movement speed is increased by 15%. Remember, movement speed equals more damage. Now, if you could get this exact version, but instead of probably capacity or recharge, we had the Vagabond prefix, that is top tier for Zane for sure. Okay, so moving on, the class mod we are using here is a scene dead class mod, obviously, which is just the best for Zane in this game. There's just no doubt about it. What this does is, whenever Zane damages an enemy, with his weapon, he has a chance to automatically activate all of his kill skills. Additionally, his kill skills gain a bonus 25% effect bonus. This stacks with death follows close by the way people, and the results are just utterly crazy. So yeah, all of the selected skill tree kill skills I mentioned earlier when going through the build, activate via you just hitting enemies with your weapons. You don't have to kill them. And this works incredibly with good misfortune as hitting enemies extends your action skills. You don't have to kill them, just hit them and it extends your action skill duration. And this results in you almost always having those action skills active while you are shooting at enemies. Skills on the seeing dead mod you want, which is a world drop upon the handsome jackpot, you want to match really what you are using, weapon damage or a particular weapon damage, mag size and so forth. Just get one that helps your setup out. There are thousands of different variations out there. Perks though you want to look out for on this are points added into Donnybrook as it's either Donnybrook, Violent Violence or Plain Dirty. But Donnybrook and Violent Violence are the ones you want really. Okay so grenade we are using here is uh, its piss. Remember this grenade comes into effect via the drone delivery and duct tape mod and its anointment comes into play too. Damaged enemies take plus 20% increased damage for 6 seconds and with the anointment 2 on grenade thrown 
Weapon, grenade and action skill damage are increased by 25% for 6 seconds. So this grenade alone creates an additional 45% extra damage for this build. And this grenade drops from Sloth and Funk upon Comrade's hold. And lastly guys, we have the artifact. Now my go to artifact is the Snowdrift Victory Rush. This gives us a crazy slide speed, which you can pair with violent momentum and get some deadly results. Sliding also creates a snowball. Also, kill a badass to trigger victory rush, plus 18% movement speed and damage with a 60 second duration. It, in my opinion, is just absolutely brutal, and the effects it has on its build are just unmatched with any other artifact. There's just no question about it. Now skills on this again, you want something that's going to help your build out. Mine is more or less perfect with shotgun damage, movement speed and action skill cooldown. You can't go wrong with this one people. Now this artifact as well drops from Sloth again in Conrad's hold. So two items from this build upon the same location people, that's if you need them. And people, that is the Winter Soldier 57 build. And the results in reality are just unmatched in terms of 99% of other builds out there which I have tried and tested. The damage output on this build alone guys is 276% over standard damage and people. That's without including any extra damage in terms of generated damage via movement speed. And we have an additional 65% movement speed at least which comes into play. And that's not including the benefits at all and speed stacked via the bad dose augment and the artifact. So we could be looking at over 100% additional movement speed at least with this build. And how that affects damage in terms of violent momentum, I actually don't know. But this perk gives us an extra 20% extra damage at just default walk speed, so it's gotta be absolutely crazy. So true power and damage output capable is another test for another video. But it's crazy high, I can tell you that for sure people. It's all I need and all I use, and it absolutely makes easy work of everything this game throws at me. There's no two which ways about it. So yes people, for those who wanted it, this is one of the best builds for Zane in this game. I give you the Winter Soldier 57. A name by the way originating from one of my favourite Marvel movies and the fact Troyo plays a massive part in this build. On that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.